you were coming in a little bit too straight like this, mm -hmm. and that makes it really hard to get that thing to walk. Sure. It just kind of stalls out. Mm -hmm. If you tip that angle back, and then start just kind of rocking it back and forth, it'll start walking a lot easier for you. Okay. When I first met James, first started working with James, I didn't know any type of limitations that he had. He's always got a great attitude. He comes in, he works very hard at what he's doing. He's very dedicated to his skills. And as I got to work with James, I noticed that he had a prosthetic leg. And then when we got into it, we started a conversation, started talking with each other. I found out that he also is blind in one eye and that really changed how we had to approach his education. I was driving real late at night. I was tired, I was going too fast and I, uh, I put my truck off the road at about 50 miles an hour and uh, I hit a tree right where the driver mirror was um, and I was, I was pinned in there uh, for about an hour. It took him an hour to get the truck off the tree, snapped my femur, uh, broke my skull in three places. We found that simple tasks that I take for granted such as kneeling or crawling on the floor that can be a lot more difficult for James. It was a new challenge to me to try and understand as much as I could about what he needs to be successful in the welding industry. I can teach him the welding skills but now I need to consider the other obstacles that he has such as the limitations of movement or sight. I wasn't going to let that stop me from trying to teach him as much as I can. I'm really grateful, you know, to all the instructors. Um, you know, they've all they've all been great. It's uh, it's been, you know, really really heartwarming. You know, um, some of them, you know, they've they've shut one eye while they've welded. You know, to like try to get a feel for it, the lack of depth perception. Just trying to be as flexible with the education as I can, trying to put myself in his position, even though I'll never have the same limitations he does. It's important to stay grateful, you know. This is an amazing opportunity. I got to come here and learn. I'm definitely not taking it for granted. I don't want to waste it, you know. My time here is finite. I want to take the most away I can and move forward with the best opportunities I can get.